So I have the GoPro dog harness right here. Uh, we have some dogs. Uh, one's a St. Bernard and one's a Shepherd Cross. So I'm going to see if the uh, GoPro dog harness will fit the St. Bernard to start. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, it actually says it fits dogs from 15 to 120 pounds. And the St. Bernard is 110 pounds. So this should fit her. Let's wait and see. Okay, here we go. Open this very difficult <coughs> case. Don't worry, I won't litter. I'll pick it up later. Put the scissors down. And here we go. Woo! -hoo! Oh, things went flying. Yeah. Here's a dog harness. And there's a barking dog behind me. Hey, be good girl. Caleb is going to try to put the dog harness on Suki the St. Bernard. Um while wearing the GoPro on his head with the headgear. So we'll check out that footage after as well to see how it turned out if we angled the camera properly. Um, it's kind of exciting. This is my first GoPro experience. So you can put the harness on so the camera will be on the back of the dog or you can place it so it's on the chest so when they run you can see the uh, point of view of the dog. I don't know. Suki doesn't seem to be too impressed right now. Oh, drool. Sit, Suki. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sometimes she's a good dog. Having trouble, Caleb? Just seeing how it works. The way you can look at it here is there's a front harness, like the front uh, mount for the camera and the back mount. So you don't actually have to change the harness once you get it on the dog. Nope. So I was kind of unsure about that part. So that's kind of exciting. So all you have to do is switch the camera. Yes. Oh, I hope it fits her. She's used to collars, not harnesses. Although when she was a puppy, we had a harness for her. I think she'll be fine with either one. It's supposed to be tight so that it doesn't move around. Okay. Oh, she's being so good right now. So it just snaps in. You can see how it uh, comes together here. Right there, see? Nice. Good girl, Suki. Good girl. Let's see how this works. Are you going to put it on her front? Okay, let's watch how we do this. So it must just snap in. Oh, there, it made a click. Is it still recording? Yep. Okay, make her do something. Hey, oh, now you're just looking at the ground. Don't think it's gonna work that way. Okay. Get her to run. Come on, come on. It's the observer effect. Come on, Suki. <laughs> the poor dog uh, doesn't want to move now that we have the harness on her. Oh, Suki. What are you doing, sweetie? What are you doing? She's got a lot of fur that hangs down, so I'm not too sure how it will work on her chest. You going to click it onto the top now? Yeah. Okay, so this is how we click it onto uh, her back. And it just slides in and it makes a click noise. Oh, it didn't make, oh, there it goes. Okay, there. all right, let's try this. Come on, Suki, come on, Suki, come on. Suki. Suki, the dog is frozen. She does not want to move. Hence the GoPro experience is not really that exciting. Come on, Suki, come on, sweetie, come on. Come on, come on, Suki. <laughs> you know, she's got such a big head that with the GoPro, I'm guessing we have a very great shot of the back of her head. Come here, Suki. She's come so here. funny. Come there she goes. Here you go. There she goes. Here you go. You want another one? Sit. Yeah. Girl. Come on, Suki. Oh, good thing that harness holds on well with all the shaking that she's been doing. 
So now that we know the uh, GoPro harness fits the 110 pound St. Bernard, we're going to try it on Buddy, the German Shepherd Cross, and he's probably about 74 pounds uh, last time he was weighed. So we'll have to tighten the straps for him. Yes, you already had your turn. Okay, that's the play one. So, take two with the Budster. With Buddy. Buddy, okay. And it just slides into the harness again. Oh, Buddy's a good dog. Look at him go. No, it's not gonna work for me in the house. All right, let's go anyways. Let's see, this is really dark. Come on, Buddy. Come on. Come on. 